What's up, Scorpio? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. And if this is your first time joining me, then I'd like to welcome you to There's That Tarot. Scorpio, the sun went away. Sorry, the video is so dark. It looks like it's about to storm here. I'm doing something a little different for the month of July. I pulled a Moonology card for each sign. And the one that you got was Hold Your Vision, Fixed Moon. So I'm kind of doing that as a theme of you know what you need to be focused on this month so there are two main possibilities when we see this card the first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in the second very different interpretation is that something is stuck that could well be referring to the situation you're asking about if that is the case have you have uh, there's a typo in this book you have to think about what you can do to grease the wheel so that events can move forward are you being too stubborn if so, that's great. But if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break the deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it is up to you to decide what is going... <laughs> Why I can't read today, Scorpio? What's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection, right? Your mantra for the month. Yes, just say the word a lot and see how it feels say the word yes a lot and see how it feels sometimes we just gotta you know the, the our word is our wand you know we make wishes with our words all the time unconsciously so just start saying yes to life you never know where it's gonna take you staying power faith patience are all gonna be needed this month someone needs to back down avoid stagnation a personal or professional relationship will be enduring. Oh my god, it is so dark in here, and I'm not gonna turn the light on, so we're gonna do like we're gonna do like a night tarot situation. Oh my god, I feel like I need to light a candle or something. But well, we're gonna go with it. I want to see how you're feeling during the month of July. Some of the things that came up in your meditation was on the side. I don't know if somebody has somebody on the side. Y'all have somebody on the side. The other song that came up was Out of Sight. Somebody's running out of time for something. The other song that came up was uh, Out the Window. And um, Until I'm Home. That sounds shady as hell, Scorpio. I'm not even going to lie, but we're going to jump into your reading. See how you guys are feeling in the month of July. What's going on with Scorpio in the month of July? Whatever it was, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Hermit, and the Four of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> What's the Seven of Swords? All right. Somebody was sneaking out. Somebody, I mean, there was something on the side, is what this is looking like. Love this card. Got Leo energy, Gemini energy here. Aries energy. What is the Ace of Wands? Okay. A lot of major here. What's the Seven of Swords? Three Sevens. It's a third party situation, um, Scorpio. One that possibly came to the light. It's like I wasted my time over there, though. What's the Seven of Pentacles? If I was going to end up disappointed anyway, it feels like something was a waste of time. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn. What's the devil? Yeah, there was a secret relationship here. Either that ended a commitment, a marriage, or a family situation. Or that secret relationship is ending. What's the ten? Of, what's these tens? Yeah, because somebody couldn't decide who they wanted to lay with. I mean, literally, on the side. King of Swords. Somebody's mad that they put so much work into this. What's the magician? So, I see someone manifesting an ending, following that intuition. I think this is you. I could be talking to a um, feminine Scorpio. I see you trying to get back where you need to be. Leap, uh, full thought. Yeah. 
I think I'm a, I think I'm a go. <laughs> Sun card. I think that's what you're saying, you know. It was revealed to you that this situation was very karmic. This person kept going back and forth between you and something. Okay. And I think you finally, ultimately, put an end to it. Okay. Deeming it as a waste of time. What's the seven of wands? Hmm. You guys could have been dealing with a Leo, too. What's the seven of wands? Your defenses are up now. Oh, you're letting go. Not putting any more energy into this. Perhaps even exploring some other options, I thought. <laughs> it's like I'm not even finna fight with you. Ooh. You blocking. Somebody's getting blocked. Same point in the reverse. Ooh. Eight of cups in the reverse. Somebody had two options. Could have been an Aries. This is Mars energy as well. Could be a father figure. Or some kind of authority. Somebody in authority, but somebody has some control issues. Or a lack of control. Or never, like, took accountability for something. Somebody have a really deep voice, too. Somebody was secretly still thinking about going back to someone else. Two wings. <laughs> Like, I'm not single, but I'm communicating with somebody. Or well, somebody could be telling you that they're not single and apologizing to you. Or this could be you, Scorpio, who couldn't make up your mind. And somebody's lies end up catching up to them because somebody was questioning. It's a lot of tens. A lot of tens. All the tens are on the board in the reverse. Queen of Wands. Some of you were dealing with the fire sign. One who could have been like a more committed partner. But this person is heartbroken. It's the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's leaving this situation, resolving it due to lies and deception. Somebody's ending it. Somebody was not being, oh my God, Scorpio. A lot of regret here. Whoever the masculine energy is, I feel like in the commit, in the committed relationship or whatever this partnership is, is the one who's sitting in regret right now. It could be a woman who, who possesses a very masculine energy as well. Possible Leo. One person is withdrawing from this. What's the hammer card? It's you. Maybe you're the one that's withdrawing, Scorpio. Putting an end to this. Commitment. Walking away. The cups. It's like you're sure about this at this point. What's the King of Swords? Yeah. I'm letting go of this. Four cups. You don't trust this person. Whatever came out about them, it could have been a fixed sign you were dealing with another Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, or an Aquarius. But whatever, what was the moon in the reverse? Hmm. Somebody was being very manipulative and greedy. Mm. Five of Swords. Ugh, you could have been dealing with a fire sign. Something was all, like somebody lied to you about something. It was like all talk, whatever it was. 
They were juggling. You didn't know about it. Maybe they tried to. It's a sign. But once it came to the light, you was out. Or you gonna be. You're not gonna worry about this anymore. So it could have been a feminine energy who. who somebody got hoodwinked in this reading. I'm about to see who you're dealing with. But I see an energy of you like. Uh -uh. Getting out of Dodge. Let's see. I heard bird's eye view. Somebody saw it. Somebody saw something. If it wasn't you, it was somebody you know, and it's like, I don't know. <sighs> Who is the person in Scorpio's energy right now? In Scorpio's mind. Who is this person? Is this somebody who broke your heart? Three of Swords. King of Pentacles. If I'm talking to a male Scorpio, this is somebody you have moved on from. Somebody who betrayed you. Magician. I'm telling you, some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign, specifically a Leo, death card. All right, we get that part. So you don't want to deal with this person no more. Cool. Let's move on, Scorpio. What's the advice for this situation? And then I'm going to move on to the good stuff. What's coming towards you this month? advice for Scorpio in this situation. Uh -uh. Don't look back, Scorpio. Stand up for yourself. This person is going to try to talk to you again. Five of Cups. If you don't trust him, you just don't. Get yourself unstuck from this situation. The betrayal, I mean, the damage has been done. That was y'all last reading. Damage done. Stand up for yourself, Scorpio. Seven of Wands. Yes. The Empress doesn't look down to see what's going, what the, what the drama is. And that's the energy that you need to get into. Drop this conflict with whoever this fixed sign, possible fixed sign is. Whatever this commitment was where you were getting breadcrumbed. What's that? What's the magician? Hold was valuable to you, close to your chest. This person was selfish, whoever this was. Emperor? What's this emperor? Ah. So y'all could have been married. <laughs> y'all could have been married. Or y'all have children together. Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, somebody may have found out the other person was not single. But there's another. Let's see. What's the three of wands? I feel like waiting on this situation has caused a lot of it's like it, you I feel like it's caused you to lose a lot of strength and motivation a lot of questions too many questions two of cups so I think this is a connection that you're deciding to block out for a new opportunity oh who else is there okay you're making you're making the decision not to reconnect with this person kind of keep yourself blocked off from them okay four swords they're going to come back to try to hit, you know, apologize. Now I want to commit to the situation since we broke up. I still have a lot of love for you. I feel like they're going to be coming to you. But you're, no. 
they tried to juggle you for too long and I think you're just like, nah. You're choosing not to, to deal with this person anymore. Okay, Scorpio. Let's look at the good stuff that's coming towards you for the month of July. Good stuff coming towards Scorpio for the month of July. I'm gonna shuffle. What's the good? Let's look at the good stuff. Setting yourself free. Keeping it real with yourself, Scorpio. Being honest with yourself about what it is that's gonna make you happy. Hmm. Setting yourself free from a fire sign, huh? Hmm. A possible fire sign. I'm just this is just you not taking any action towards the person. Could be that. What's the eight of swords? person was like blocking your mental clarity they constantly wanted attention this person could have offered you friendship or they just didn't offer enough it was just a failed relationship so i see you setting yourself free from that starting fresh but you told this person what you had to say or you will Okay, this will, yeah, you're gonna turn this person down. Let's look at um the seven of swords. Cause whatever you found out, it's like you, I mean, you immediately was like, okay, I'm done with this drama. It's a lot of Leo energy here. What came to the light? Yes, they're going to try to like offer you something again or restart this with you again and you're going to turn them down is what it looks like, Scorpio. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. <laughs> you're cutting this possible fire sign out of your life. A lot of sweet memories with this person, but I think you're going to tell them how like you're not, this person doesn't want to be single. This person doesn't want to be away from you. What's the nine of pentacles? Okay. You're letting go, Scorpio. What was that? What did that say? Hold your vision. I just want to look back at this. Someone needs to back down. Somebody is relentless in their pursuit of you. Staying power, faith, or patience is needed. I feel like you're ready to give up on this, though. What else do you need to know about this situation, Scorpio? Because free will and all of that, you know? I feel like the good stuff that's coming to you, Scorpio, is the fact that you're setting yourself free from this situation or this person, whatever this is. What else does Scorpio need to know for the month of July? I think you just realize it's either this card says some people really do change, but it came out in the reverse. Impulsive also came out in the reverse. What I get from that is maybe some shit just hasn't changed with this person. And you're not being as impulsive to like take them back or jump right back to them or something like that as you used to be. Never give out what you need right back. Whether it's energy, money, or whatever it is. What else for Scorpio? Somebody's better at work than love. Possibly even better off single. 
If somebody ain't gonna be patient enough with you to like, you know, work through you with it. It's something about the way that this feels though. I don't know if it feels off or if it feels I don't know. It's something about the way that it feels. Don't stay in a fixed place, Scorpio. Don't stay fixed in a place where you're not happy. Change your life through your mind. You change your life through your mind through repetition. Find the good and goodbye. Somebody could possibly have bad hygiene or something. I don't know. This could be a health of something. Be careful with that. Somebody wanted a home. A home and a hoe. <laughs> On the side. It keeps... Wow. It keeps coming out. Somebody's a big flirt. They're too damn nice to everybody. Quick to anger. Quick to jump. Impulsivity. I, I'm telling you. But it's time for you to release and burden, Scorpio. The art of love is that you're floating, that you're weightless. So that when you lose that love, you can float back into the atmosphere without all that weight, you know? A lot of us show up with all of our exes in our pocket. And it's like, you know, just because a person can't... I said this in the last three readings. Just because a person cannot see, physically see that you're with someone else doesn't mean that I can't feel the energy of other people on you, girl. Boy. This person's, I don't know. I don't know who it is. Rose can always be reversed. Take it how it resonates. What is the person on Scorpio's mind? I'm going to say to Scorpio. I don't know why I keep frowning <laughs> during this week. I feel like my, I need to like loosen up my face. <laughs> what do they want to say to you, Scorpio? These um can be reversed as well. We got, you're all I've ever wanted. I'm in a much better headspace now. So maybe they had time to think about it. You did dodge a bullet though, Scorpio. Somebody dodged a bullet. And I feel like the tables got turned in this situation. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. I want to tell you how I feel now, but I know that you're allowed to be upset for what happened. Somebody is mad. Y'all been through a lot together though. This person may be saying you were wrong. It's not what you thought. It's not what you thought it was. But I think you're at the point now. One of you. What was that? Is that the. That was lightning. <laughs> That's what that was. Uh, don't let anyone rent space in your head unless they're a good tenant. Somebody's finally starting to understand this connection. But they knew what they was doing now. They just hate the fact that you look at them differently. And that you see that this is like unfertile somebody's not being nice just to be nice i want to reach out but i'm afraid i just need more time to figure things out i hate that i took you for granted the song that's playing right now is called far out i think you're just like far removed from the situation at this point i feel like all of my mars babies are over it right now with someone both of y'all are probably dealing with um fire signs so any other messages for Scorpio before I close this out? Why do I feel like this isn't over, Scorpio? We got give your relationship a chance in the reverse. There's a lot of chemistry here, but I think you two are past the honeymoon stage. Somebody's not putting in the effort anymore. That doesn't want to. I feel like that's you, Scorpio. There's still chemistry between you two, but y'all are past that little giddy stage, you know. I think that you just need to take some time to focus on loving yourself. And it does say that trust is called. You know, it's, this situation is calling for you to have trust. To have faith, heart to heart conversations. I mean, in your on your moonology message, it says a personal or professional relationship will be enduring. I think this is just one of the, yeah. I just think you need to take a moment to free your mind, like honestly discuss your feelings with this person or whatever the situation is, and then free yourself from it. Like, get outside of it. Sometimes that's the best way that you can see a situation is when you're on the outside of it. You may be dealing with... If you feel like... Mm, I don't know, Scorpio. 
maybe somebody does maybe part of the problem was is it just there just wasn't enough expression I didn't tell you I love you enough I didn't like something happened to the trust in this situation and then somebody stopped expressing their love I see a lot in this car. I'm sorry. We got unrequited love. The woman looks very uninterested in this picture. It's like all these girls want this guy. And 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 the woman who has the guy is kind of like, hmm, okay. And the man is just like groveling over her. like, But she's not really interested. Is that you, Scorpio? I'm going to leave it there. If you would like a personal reading, please reach out to me. My um, information is in the description box. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Ciao.